Everyone. Boy, but yeah, yeah. Well, is it is that the is that the equivalent of that's just like you're right, mate, mate, mate yeah. boy. So even if you're a girl, you're a boy. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, boy. Yeah. <laughs> Good afternoon everybody and welcome to another video and for this video I am in Norfolk and I'm not alone I'm joined by Hardy from Hardy Tempest's Walks and Wild Camps and it's a little walk for us this afternoon so it's about three or four miles um, up the Norfolk coastal path and uh, the plan is to do a little wild camp tonight um, by the sea which I'm really looking forward to. I've actually never wild camped in this part of the world. I've been to Suffolk a lot but I've never been to Norfolk so it's really good to uh, sort of be out with Hardy because uh, he lives in this part of the world and he, he knows uh, all the best places to go, local history, all that kind of thing. Uh, it's pretty mild today, it's about 10 degrees and I think if, any, if anything uh, the biggest challenge will be wind tonight because it's uh, forecast to be about 40, 50 mile an hour winds. Anyway, we're going to get going, it's about 2 o'clock now, loads of time to explore and check out various things and I'll bring you back later.
so it's about four o'clock now and what's been quite nice is for the first time in quite a few wild camps I've managed to get the tent up relatively early I think I've pitched the tent at about half past three um, as I say Hardy knows this area pretty well and um, pretty secluded I don't think anyone's going to bother us no one's really interested we've had people walk by and they're not, not even noticed us to be honest sunset's due about half past four got a few meals with me to eat tonight getting actually, actually getting quite hungry so um, I might actually switch the stove on and uh, heat up that trekking food a bit earlier starting to get a bit cold as well the wind is really really cold even though it's um, 10 degrees today the wind has been pretty bitter uh, I just checked the weather and the rain is due at the moment from about 4 a.m. There's about 60% 60, 60 chance of rain from 4 a.m. And that's continuing into Sunday morning. So we'll make the, the most of the weather we got at the moment. And um, probably just we'll take a few pictures of the sunset, hunker down and have, uh, have some food and hot drinks. phone says it's 10 degrees but oh god the wind chill's making it feel so much colder right i'm getting dinner on so i've been trying these um summit to eat um dehydrated meals it's my second one last one i had was a beef stew and i was actually quite impressed with it um obviously the disadvantage is you've got to use um quite a bit of water um but you, in my experience, compared to the, um, the Wayfarer pouches, for example, um, you end up getting more food. The calories are higher, which is good, especially um, if you're hiking or in winter time. Um, but yeah, the, you, the water usage is, is a bit of a downside and unless you can get to a water source, I suppose. I'm okay on, on this camp because I've got at least two liters of water. Um, so let's get this going. Never tried dehydrated pasta bolognese. I thought it was spaghetti bolognese, but it's pasta bolognese. I think, yeah, those are pasta twirl things. And leave it for eight minutes. Uh, cheap and cheerful pouch insulator made out of an Amazon Prime packet. And a bit of gaffer tape. So I'll put that in there. Oh. Yep, perfect fit. Grubs up. Oh, I've been so looking forward to this. It's actually come out quite well. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, it might be putting some of you off, admittedly. It's not a gourmet meal, but, oh God, when you're 
I've said it before, when you're out camping. It just tastes really good, doesn't it? Those of you that have done this, the food that you would perhaps uh, not entertain at home suddenly becomes um, really warming. There's a good flavour. It's the summit to eat pasta bolognese. Um, I think if I could improve it, I think bigger chunks of pasta. It's those miniature, you know, those kind of miniature pasta swirls, sorts of things you give to children. I'd, I'd like a sort of chunkier pasta in there, um, but it's quite tasty. Actually, just been listening to the shipping forecast on Radio Four whilst I've got the uh, the sounds of the the North Sea just below the cliff here so it's been quite atmospheric I was thinking earlier about winter camping and actually it's quite boring <laughs> I had a just had a tiny moment of why am I here um, but then of course you know I do it because I love it but it's it's so different to summer camping um, in the UK um, it can get dark at winter time from 3.45. Um, at the moment it's getting dark, sunsets around 4.30. And when you're camping, there's nothing else to do in the winter, especially if it's cold and it's windy and the weather's bad. So, so you just keep yourself busy. You, um, you make hot drinks in your tent porch, have your snacks, make your food. Um, I bring books and I download podcasts and things like that onto my phone. And sometimes, well actually you know, quite a lot of the time, it makes me go to bed earlier. I think it's because when you're outside, you know, you're, you're responding to nature, the sun's gone down, so your body is getting naturally tired. You haven't got all this artificial light around you. And, um, and we're getting tired in the way that we should be, I guess. So... Yeah, I often sleep quite well when I'm camping. Saying that, I'll probably have a terrible night's sleep tonight. Um, yeah, I, I often get to get my head down by sort of nine nine thirty. I don't really tend to stay up that late, um, unless the weather's bad. So anyway, I'm going to enjoy this, finish this off, and um, I've got a little beer. Gonna have that. Come back to you in a bit. Hello everybody, it's uh, about eight o'clock, uh, feels about 10 o'clock, um, in the sleeping bag. Um, I've had all my food, my beer, and I'm just uh, keeping myself warm because it's really cold. Uh, <laughs> don't care what the temperature is, it's really cold. So I'm, I'm just um, hunkering down in the thermals and um, I, I might well fall asleep early at this rate. Um, so uh, I might actually say goodnight now just in case I do fall asleep and I, I don't get time to sign off officially. So um, good night, and I shall see you in the morning. Good night. Morning all, it's about ten past six and um, it's raining as predicted and seems to be a bit heavier than they said it would be. Um, it's due to carry on to about 10, 11 o'clock so not particularly looking forward to packing up in the wet. It's not one of my favourite pastimes if I'm honest. Yeah, it's still quite chilly so I think what I'm going to do is just um, curl up with the uh, with the phone and um, listen to a few more podcasts, and then uh, maybe in an hour or so I might get up and make myself some coffee, have some breakfast, things like that. Um, I would imagine Hardy is probably still fast asleep at the moment, um, or maybe he's up. I don't know. Uh, so I'll come back to you uh, when I've got breakfast going.
Okay, so we're all packed up. Uh, that's where I was camped last night. Just had a little walk around to check that there's nothing left behind. Leaving no trace as always. I've put everything uh, into a carrier bag, stuffed that into the top of my rucksack. You might be able to see Hardy. There he is, he's packed up. He's ready to go as well. It's still quite drizzly. I'm just gonna hit the path. That's it for another video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it as always. Um, please do give us a thumbs up if you like this video. And get in the comments, let me know what you're thinking. If you've been to this part of the world, got any questions, usual stuff. And, uh, and if you're not a subscriber, please can I encourage you to hit that subscribe button. And all oh, the glasses are steaming up. <laughs> and don't forget to hit the little bell and then you, of course you'll get all the notifications of any future uploads. A big thank you to Hardy. He's a bit further ahead on the, on the path, but thank you to Hardy for showing me the uh, sights and the sounds of the Norfolk coastal path. I'm sure I'll be back here soon. So that's all from me. Take care, guys. See you on the next one.